for me, boundaries, te- I used to place them as more like ultimatums, mm-hmm. like do this or else. Yeah. And I've been trying to reframe boundaries in my life as more of like a standard. Like this is a standard that I'm living by. Yeah. And if you can't meet that standard, then we get to have a conversation about that. A boundary is a simple request that teaches people how to how you want to be treated in a nutshell. Sun is coming up, are you ready to go? We can take a ride, we can take it slow. Yeah. Okay, so we've been talking you've been using the word boundaries a lot. And this yeah. is something that's been coming up for me a lot in my own life and just like the TikTok algorithm and everything that I've been like being served by people that I trust and and really believe know what they're talking about and for me boundaries te- I used to place them as more like ultimatums mm-hmm. like do this or else yeah. and I've been trying to reframe boundaries in my life as more of like a standard like this is a standard that I'm living by yeah and if you can't meet that standard then we get to have a conversation about that and I just actually created new standards with my father because we had been estranged and I was like I need I don't want to go the rest of my life not having mm-hmm. a relationship with my dad and uh, I said, listen, if we're going, I want to start a new relationship. I don't want to try and repair our old relationship because we're never going to be able to do that. Mm-hmm. And my baseline standard is that we live in integrity. And if you have an expectation of me or I have an expectation of you, that it's fully communicated. Mm-hmm. So love that. Oh, well, Another you. adult. Listen, oh my God, look who's showing up in his adult I mean, again. I'm just showing off in front of you. <laughs> But, I'll, but I, you know, th- those are the one, two times where I'm sitting in the adult chair. But uh, no, I'm not giving myself enough credit. Um, but I'm just curious, can you dive into your understanding of boundaries? How, like, to really bring it down to, because we throw them around. Oh, I need to set boundaries with social media. I need to set boundaries with my partner. I need to set yeah. boundaries with my parents. But, like, what does it actually mean? Yeah. A boundary is a simple request that teaches people how to how you want to be treated mm. in a nutshell. You're just teaching other people how you want to be treated. You're, they don't know. You know, we expect people to be psychic. Well, he or she should have known, but no, they shouldn't know better. Mm. It's our job to speak up and say, hey, I need this. So a boundary can be a simple request. And by the way, a boundary is not the same exact thing as confrontation. You know, I can't tell you the number of times when I suggest to a client, hey, you know, what about setting a boundary with so-and-so? And And their response to me is, but I'm not confrontational. Mm. A boundary is not confrontational, it does not have to be. So a boundary is just a simple request. So what you did with your father was a beautiful example of a boundary, Mm. beautiful example. You're just sharing with someone, hey, this is what I'd prefer, or hey, that hurt me when you said X, Y, Z, could you please not do that again? Or, hey, I am, um, I thank you for the invite to the party. Um, I'm not gonna be able to make it. Have a great time. What people tend to do when they set a boundary is because there's all this guilt and yucky stuff that comes up with it unnecessarily is they add what I what I call they get lost in the weeds. Mm-hmm. So they go into all these apologies and explanations, mm-hmm. and, and the person listening on the receiving end is like, I don't even know what the heck you're talking about. <laughs> I like, don't even care. Well, yeah, what are you trying to tell me? Like yeah. you can't come to the party because you're talking about your son and what's going on with his grades, and somewhere in there you're slipping and you can't go to the party, but they're so uncomfortable setting these boundaries. Mm-hmm. So the person on the receiving end is like, What are you trying to say? Just tell me. Yeah. You know? So um Yes, it's a simple request. I love when people like set those types of boundaries with me or just say like, hey, I'm not going to be able to make it. Thanks so much for the invitation. Like, I don't need an excuse. I don't need the reason. I don't need, all, you know, you read the, your laundry list of reasons why you can't make it. Like, because what I found is that when people set boundaries with me, it gives me permission to set boundaries with others and themselves. Yeah. It makes me feel safe. Yes. Someone, someone has to start that that journey into the boundary world. But what do we do when the other person does? either a doesn't respect our boundary or doesn't receive it in a way that like feels supportive because that has happened to me a lot in in my past well and again people typically jump into a defense right Mm -hmm. we go into the adolescent chair Mm -hmm. which is the place where we defend because on some level they feel attacked like what do you mean you know so what i like to do with people like i have people i have really close people in my life 
that I can freely set boundaries with. Do you know mm-hmm. what I'm talking mm-hmm. about? Like your yeah. husband, you know, like yeah, yeah. just a handful, honestly. And then there are people in the next outer circle that I might say to them, I call it a setup phrase where you're setting it up so that you can then set the boundary or Mm. speak your, I don't even want to say set the boundary, speak your boundary. So I might say to you like, Hey Paul, you mean a lot to me and I'm so glad we have such a a loving relationship. Mm. So when I say that to you, are you defending or are you like heart opening? Like, Oh, I'm so excited for our new loving relationship. (laughs) (laughs) You see what I'm saying? So I'll, so I might say that to you and then I'd say, can I share with you something that happened the other day? Mm -hmm. So right away, your heart's like, she loves me. Mm -hmm. We have this awesome relationship, smile, Mm -hmm. you know? And then I'd say, remember, you know, when you and your husband are talking and you shared with him, you know, that whatever thing I told you not to share, that made me really uncomfortable. Would you just do me a favor and please don't share that with anyone else? Mm -hmm. So I'm speaking the boundary, but I've set it up ahead of time letting you know how much you mean or mean to me like you know I love I might say to you Paul one thing I love about our relationship is that you and I can share anything with each other Mm. you know and it's true I'm not making any of that up Mm -hmm. when I say that to somebody but what I like is that it brings their defenses down they drop their their sword and shield Mm. you know I always see people like with a sword and shield like ready to go and it's like drop that I'm having a loving conversation with you so again it's not like don't you effing do that to me again. That's confrontational. Mm. This is like, hey, what's the emotion? Like, that hurt me when, fill in the blank, please what? It's like, what's the request? Please don't do that again. Can you apologize for that? Or I just wanted you to know that really hurt me. I was talking to a friend of mine the other day, and we all laugh at her because she's a terrible texter back. Okay. <laughs> Everyone knows this girl. She's, nobody wants to talk. You know, she doesn't text back really well. So I said to her, hey. I know you hate your phone. I know you don't like to text back. Um, I, I get that. But when I text you, and I don't text you often, can you please text me back? I would really, really appreciate it. Because it's, it sets off my, my codependency. Mm-hmm. And she goes, oh my God, of course. And I said, I know this about me. I just would love that. Because I go into like total fear when you don't text me back after a day. I don't need to text back in five minutes. But you know. I worry about you and oh my god I had no idea of course I'll text you back and she does that's fantastic but we have a really beautiful relationship we can say anything to each other Mm. um so it doesn't have to be mean it doesn't have to be you know yucky but if somebody reflects poorly when you speak up for yourself and share your experience and I'm again setting a boundary and that person goes they go into their defense. You go, okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, thank you. Yeah, I yeah. just end it. Because like you know Ariana what? Grande moment. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, Next. exactly. Mm-hmm. Next, it's like they can't hear it because they're in a, they're in a defense. Mm-hmm. And if you say to them, hey, I think you're in a defense, they're going to be like, I'm not defensive. You're defensive. <laughs> you know, it's yeah, like, yeah, okay. Yeah. So I just, I back off. So unfortunately, there are some people you can't set boundaries with. But that means I'm going to set an internal boundary for myself, which means maybe I set, spend less time with that person. Mm-hmm. I know what I can say and what I can't say. So I'm going to boundary myself when with that person. Mm. So I can't expect them to change and receive the boundary. Right. That makes sense. Yeah. Right. Uh, setting any expectation for anyone. The only person we can control is ourselves. Mm-hmm. And that's mm-hmm. like probably the hardest thing for everyone to acknowledge in life because well not everyone but like yeah a lot of people that come to me for support it's just like oh my gosh I love discovering who I am I I love self-love I want everyone else to do this how do I get everyone else to do it? and I said there's you no you can't sorry <laughs> all you can do is be a leader and that normally yeah. is the only way like yeah. when uh, I recently like with the boundary with my dad now or that new standard now he has this baseline to go off of and he knows that I am open and willing to receive those, you know, if we need to have a new conversation, a, a renegotiation about the, the expectations that were placed. Yes. And, and, and it feels so good and open as opposed to like, like there was just a lot of fear. And it's interesting though, because I find that fear still coming up. I get, uh, because it's like, yes, I will, I'm starting a relationship with my dad, but I still have 37 years of history with this man. So, yeah, of course. so there's, there's a lot. So, 
Um, I don't, I don't really have a follow up question for that. Just like, it's just a, a statement that it takes time. Like boundaries take time and your willingness to step into them. It, it has to be for you, right? You have to set the boundary for yourself. Of course. Yes. Yes. And you know, I find with people, it, it, if you don't have it, honestly, we can talk about self love. If you don't have a baseline of self love or self worth, it's hard to set boundaries.